You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. My name is Kim Lewis. I am going to be your phlebotomy diva today. The first step that you definitely have to do before you even identify yourself to your patient is wash your hands. So we definitely want to wash our hands, medical and sepsis. Make sure you get enough soap. Wash your hands. Create friction, circular manner. Go in between. Go around. Your kids are known. They're taught in school to see that sing the ABC song. So this is what you can do to. Rinse with your fingers pointing down. Please do not lean against the sink. No shaking. Get your paper towels. Dry your hands completely. Okay, once your hands are dry, get a clean paper towel. Turn your faucet off. Trash. And let's go. Follow me. Now the first thing that the second thing that you should do is make sure that all your equipment is set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw Mr. Stubbs, but I'm going to use a 21 gauge needle. This is my go-to needle, especially when I have prominent veins, or you just have to put the tourniquet on and fill and see what kind of gauge you should do, what size, okay? The gauges come in 22s, 21s, straight needles, and the same for butterflies. But we're going to do a straight needle draw, okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. What you should do first is identify yourself. Hi, Mr. Stubbs. My name is Kim Lewis. I'm your phlebotomist today. I need to draw blood. Okay? Once that patient puts his hands out, that's a form of consent, or he can just shake his head. Okay. All right? Make sure that you have the correct patient. Okay? Ask him to repeat his first, last name, date of birth. Can you tell me your first and last name and your date of birth? Carl Stubbs, 0211-1991. Thank you. <laughs> now we are going to tie the tourniquet on. I like my tourniquet tight, but depending on the tightness of the tourniquet, okay, it can definitely hemolyze your specimen if it's too tight. So it can interfere with the values of the test. So what you do is just fill, find out which vein you're going to go to. That medial vein right there, that's the go-to for phlebotomist. And I like that one today. <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Start setting up your equipment. You have your adapter to your 21 gauge. This is your vacutainer, which we call AKA hub. Alcohol ready. Your tubes assembled, always have them on your dominant side. Please do not leave the turn to get on no more than a minute. Set your tubes up in the order of draw. Yes, they tell you these days not to dry it off. I'm old school. My first concern is my patient. Make sure that the bevel is up, meaning facing the ceiling. Twent the skin. Go entry, quick pinch. Switch hands. The most important thing is to make sure that your needle is in, it does not move. You get your collection, your full draw is full tubes. When you take it out, invert it. Next one, make sure that that needle does not move. Now it's filling up. I pop my tourniquet. Tell your patient to relax. Remove the tubes. Do not press. And your safety cap on. There you go. You have it. The proper way of drawing blood from the diva herself, Miss Kim Lewis. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.